DK Way Supreme Hunter, the new ground blind from DK Way, the best ground blind for goose hunting. Hi, I'm Eric from DK Waterfowl Archery Import, Denmark. I'd like to show you our new ground blind. It's the, the newest model from this year, and uh, we have a lot of improvements on this blind compared to the old one that we had the other years. Uh, the first thing is that uh, this blind is 20 centimeters longer than the other one and it's also much more wide on these sides here so there's room for uh, persons about two meters high and also with a rather large stomach there's room for them too you see the old blind had the opening in the middle this one has the openings on the side that way you can open the ground blind like this hop into the blind and close it and there's no openings here in front. Uh, this blind is big enough that you can have a dog in the blind between your legs and that's a method we use here in Denmark very much. Uh, that's another good thing about it. Um, we have here a wonderful seat and down here the seat where you have your bottom is much more uh, wide and goes all the way down to your thighs. That's why that you can keep the warmth much better in this than we could in the old model. You can see on the back side of the, uh, of the blind, we have a, uh, it's much more aerodynamic. You see here that uh, we have smaller windows in the back side here, and it's actually closed here. And that's because the old model, you kept on getting wind uh, at your neck and that was uh, not very good when you were laying in, in very cold weather. You can see we have a large stripe of Velcro on the back here. That's an easier way to put the snow cover on. Instead of having a rubber band, an elastic, that rots away with uh, a couple of years, then it's rotted away, this is much, much better to put the snow cover on a, a Velcro band here. That's also a very big improvement. I'll show you in a moment uh, when I um, lay in the blind, uh, uh, the improvements with holding your, your gun, different uh, methods we can use, that's also a much bigger improvement than the old model. Well, this is uh, the one of the ways you can have your gun here. You can see that there's these flaps on the side. You can put that out over your gun so the gun is concealed, much better than, uh, than the old model. And when I put down the lid here, you can see that you can still work under the lid, calling the birds. And as soon as the birds uh, come in, they're ready to shoot. You can just uh, say, now, 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 up. And you can shoot the birds like this. That's a good way to do it, because usually the sun shines down here. If you have a, a shiny gun, that's not good, just laying out like this. So this is an improvement too. Another way you can do it, is many hunters prefer to have the gun like this. It's no problem because the lid is longer too. So the gun is concealed, almost the whole gun is concealed this way. I'll pop up so you can see when the birds are close, you pop up like this and you can shoot. Very easy. And the lid is uh, covering the gun Usually the gun is shiny. That's a not a good thing for goose hunting or hunting at all. So this way you can hide the gun like this under the lid. Another way you can do it if you please to do like this is you can actually put the whole gun under the flap like this and put down the lid. This is a way you can do it too. So when the birds come, you'll have to pop up like this, sweep the the lid away and shoot. That's also a way to do it. So three ways you can conceal the gun that is uh, much better than with the old model. Because on the old model you didn't have room for this. You had to have the gun either laying like this or like this. You couldn't conceal the gun. That was always a problem when goose hunting. And this is especially for the grey like goose. Now the Canada geese and other types of geese are in a way easier birds. The grey like goose is a very difficult bird. So if you don't conceal the gun properly or all other parts of your body, 
they'll see it and they'll fl flare away. This is uh, the new hide with uh, the snow cover on it. Uh, we have uh, improved the features on the snow cover too. Uh, actually, you can use it as a snow cover. If it's snowy weather, you can use it as concealment in snow. But the thing we use it mostly for in Europe with the gray lag geese are that we try to look like swans. Uh, the problem about the old model was that the white lid was sewn to the bottom piece of the white snow cover. So you couldn't remove the two things from each other. Uh, that's why this looked like a really, really big swan. The good thing about this model is that you can use it like this if you want to, but you can remove the bottom piece so you have the normal color and you can conceal that with mud or grass or whatever you want and just have the white lid and a swan neck right next to it. So this would look like a swan. This is actually more the right size of a swan in Europe. So that's an improvement too. Another thing about it is that the holes are bigger but there are not that many of these holes. The problem with the old model was that it didn't really look white. It looked, you know, a little grayish white because all the holes were there. Now, a snow cover like this, looking like a swan, has to be as white as possible. The thing we thought about is, now, people are all different sizes. So if you put a couple of slots in here, it might not fit the one, but fit the other person. So the thing you have to do when you get your, your hide with this uh, snow concealment, lay into the hide and with a pencil mark the areas where you want to uh, cut a couple of slots. Now, it can maybe be here. So you cut from the one hole to the other hole and have a small slot like this. It's much better to look through one or two slots on each side and let the rest of it be uh, as white as possible. That way it'll always look like a white swan and that's the uh, most important thing about this. Another thing is that if you don't use the bottom piece but only use the top piece, it's much more easy to wash. This has to be white because it has to look like a swan. If it's all muddy, it doesn't work. We found out that the whiter it is, the better it works. So keep these lids and surely the bottom piece also as white as possible. But you can decide what you want to do. Use it as a whole, a unit, or just use the top piece. That's a big improvement from the old model.